Yo, what's going on? All my homies, homies, dudes and do this. It's your boy Will back again with my weekly wear report. And this is my time to tell you everything that I wore all week last week. So I started out with this is um, it's not new to the fra uh, fragrance community. Everybody knows what it is, but this is Mont Blanc's legend. And this is the EDT, not the EDP. The new EDP is supposed to be stronger. I haven't smelled it yet, but this is a, a really good compliment getter. This I actually did a lot along with this fragrance a long time ago, like maybe around maybe about six or seven years ago. But it smells similar to uh, Abercrombie and Finch uh, Fierce. Really good fragrance. That was Monday, and uh, it's a fresh fragrance. You know, really clean. Uh, good for compliments, also. The next one I wore on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I grabbed this one. And this is a Molecule Eccentric Molecule O2. Not Molecule O2, the, the regular one. Not the just the molecule O2, it's the centric molecule O2. This one is uh, the ISO E Super and um, what is it? Embroxin. Embroxin and ISO E Super, and then it has some iris in it, so it gives it a little bit of a floral kind of vibe to it. Um, where's my sprayer? And yeah, it's a uh, it's it, it gives a, a little bit of a minty kind of vibe to it also. But this is a good fragrance. It doesn't last super long, or I should say, you won't be able to smell it on your nose very long. I think it lasts pretty good, but um, you'll go nose blind to this really quick, probably within the first two hours. But it usually lasts about maybe about four to five hours, maybe even longer than that. But you're nose blind to it, so you might not smell it. That was on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I grabbed a. Um, fragrance that I had just in a sample and this is Ete Le Bre de Orange um, Dangerous Dangerous Complicity I think that's what it's called. I think it's called Dangerous Complicity. But yeah this is uh, just a sample that I got. I was actually thinking about getting this one um, but it's um, this one is a little floral kind of leaning. It almost leans a little bit feminine, but I still like it. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a little floral leaning. That's all I can say. But that's why I wore on Monday, Tuesday, on Wednesday, the uh, dangerous complicity. On Thursday, Thursday I actually did a ride along with this fragrance. Um, I think I put it out maybe on either on Saturday or Sunday, one of those days. I just put it out recently. But this is Aether by uh, French French Corner, French French Avenue, French Avenue, which is also Fragrance Corner. And this is a clone or inspired by Greenly by. Um, Parfums de Mali, and this actually surprised me. Check out the uh, if you haven't already, check out the ride along. This actually surprised me as long as it lasted. Um, and I learned that I had to use this differently than I was initially thinking because I was thinking I was going to just spray it on skin. Check out the check out the review. You'll you'll I mean the ride along. You'll understand what I mean. And then on. Um, What's that? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. On Friday, I went and grabbed one of these duos. This is Silk Midnight. I don't know if that's going to come up, but this is Silk Midnight, and uh, Silk Midnight is a um, <clears throat> uh, is a clone of Silk Oud by um, MFK. Um, I think that's what it is. Yeah, and it's, it it smells it smells almost like a like velvety or smooth like a smooth uh, material. 
It's a little bit spicy, but it's it's good. I like it. It was a little bit warmer, I mean cooler that day, so that I was able to wear this because this is a fragrance that you want to wear a little bit later in the year, like maybe in the fall or um or winter. So yeah, that's why I wore on Friday. Yes, on Friday. On Saturday, I went and grabbed this one here. And this one is Blue Ridge. And this is actually one of the fragrance that uh, Ashton from over at uh, Jensen, he was the creative director on this one and a few other fragrances. This is a really good fragrance. Uh, and I love these little bottles that are coming. Now, this top is not a top that uh, came with the bottle. This was actually the top from um, uh, somebody else's. Um, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember. But this is actually from another <laughs> um, video reviewer's fragrance. But I was traveling, so I wanted to have a top of it. But anyway, I'm rambling. This is uh, Blue Ridge, and this smells very, very, very close to um, YSL's YEDP. Um, I'm not sure if that, and I love the pressurized uh, sprayer too. I'm not sure what that's what he was, if that was what he was working towards or he was trying to hit, but. To me, that's what it smells like. It smells like Y-E-D-P. So that's what I wore on Saturday. On Sunday, Sunday, this is a good fragrance, a cheap fragrance also. If you can find it, uh, it, it was like a big buzz about this fragrance for a little while, but this is uh, sea, salt, sea Salt and Fig. And this is by... Um, Old Navy. This is an Old Navy fragrance. If you can find it in the Old Navy, Old Navy stores, I think it's been discontinued, but um, if, if you can find it in there, pick it up because this is a really, really good fragrance. It's it's like a salty it's like a salty fig, like but a sweet fig but salty. Like sweet and salty, almost like that. And it smells oceanic. It smells like you're by the beach. Mm, such a such a such a good fragrance for a cheap freight cheap price i think these bottles may be about five or ten dollars something like that so if you go go past uh old navy and if you see these pick it up pick one up you'll be pleased about it um it's not a long lasting fragrance but it smells really good and that was sunday and that wrapped up my week that's all I have for you today. And I appreciate you stopping by us, hanging out with me. Talk about what I wore all week, last week. All right, it's your boy Will. Thanks for stopping past Will Report. I know you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're hanging out with me, talking about that. Chat with you later. Till then, deuces.